Hi, I'm Terrell Turner, the host of the Business Talk Library. And today I have a great guest on. And as all of you know that watch this show, you know, I'm based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. So it's always a pleasure when you have other North Carolina businesses on because, you know, there are some great things going on in North Carolina. So I definitely want to have, enjoy this conversation with Kenneth as we talk about his business, Fan Vibe. So welcome to the show, Kenneth. And hey, thank you so very much, Terrell, for having me. Absolutely. My pleasure. My pleasure. Now, before we jump into the details of fan vibes, you know, tell us a little bit of what was your background before starting this business? My background is one extensively um, old, I'm going to say that. Uh, <laughs> my background, I, um, I started, um, I went into the military in 1980. I served 20 years in the United States Army. Once I got out of the army, I actually went back to school and got a degree and I got a degree in ministry and I started to become a case manager um, for homeless men. And that's basically where um, I, what ha I have been doing for the last uh, 15 years. Um, for the last four years, I have moved here to North Carolina with my wife. We needed a career change and I needed to come up here to see a new doctor. And so that led me up here and I have been working with the mayor and the city managers. I am what they call a business service specialist in the mayor and the city manager's office here in the city, in the great city of Asheville. So a short brief of my history. Okay. It is. Yes. Well, definitely. Thank you for your service. Um, extremely appreciate that. I know my, my, my father is retired army as well. He served for, okay. for 21 years. So have great appreciation for the service that, that you gave to our country. Absolutely. Always it's been my honor to serve. So. Absolutely. Now, one of the questions I also have to ask is, I, I see the shirt you have on now. Is that <laughs> Dallas Cowboy shirt? <laughs> And you know, I wrote this shirt for a reason because I am a ride or die fan. My business, <laughs> it appears to the ride or die fan, no matter what, you want to represent your team. And even though I have my team has not been doing well, I'm a ride or die fan and I'm gonna always represent my team. That's what my business appeals to, the ride or die fan. You know, I, I, it stood out to me because, you know, it's always interesting for me growing up because um, my family's from like the, the D.C., Maryland area. So um, my dad is a, a, a Redskins fan. And surprisingly, my mother and my older brother, one of my older brothers are like diehard Cowboys fans. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> great rivalry. <laughs> great rivalry. The manager, my manager, the city manager and her assistant, my boss are both Redskin fans. Ooh. <laughs> and I actually surprised them with one of my fan vibe books for Christmas, and they loved it. You know? Awesome. awesome. Yeah, they loved it. So. <laughs> awesome. So let's talk a little bit more about fan vibe. So yes. what is fan vibe? Fan vibe is um, what I call a fan book. What I did was I started putting together um, personalized, fan books for that ride or die fan for that personalized team that they love. Um, from, from what I can remember is that um, I started collecting trading cards when I was um, in high school. And believe it or not, I kept them throughout all those years. I used to take them with me. I used, to, I used to put them in my briefcase and make sure I took my cards with me. And over the years, I collected many, many cards. Well, um, I was going to save those cards for my granddaughters to hopefully that they could um, well, for, I would say my grandchildren. I didn't know I was going to have granddaughters at the time. Um, but I was going to save them for my grandchildren so that they can maybe they use them to, um, you know, get something out of them for the future. Well, because I have accumulated so many of them and during this time of COVID, I had a lot of time on my hand. Found out that I had about 30,000 cars at that time. Wow. So I said to my wife, that I'm, I'm gonna start putting these books together because of COVID. People did not have the opportunity to go and, and, and um, root for their favorite team. You know, um, COVID shut down a lot of sports. People could not go out there and really um, enjoy what they like to do on a, you know, in the season time of when they have their teams because you couldn't go to the games or anything. So I thought 
why well, won't I put together, you know what I mean, personalized fan books for individuals to enjoy, you know what I mean, their team and have a history of their team and, and just give them something to, you know what I mean, relish with during this time. So I started putting together what I call fan books and I call it fan vibes. So I started collecting even more cards, which I have now over 80,000 cards. And they consist of all the major um, sports that we have in America. That's baseball, basketball, football, and hockey. And I have every team. So I consolidated them all individually into those um, specific teams. I separated the um, what we call Hall of Fame players so that I could individualize those as well. And... Um, so I started putting those books together and what I did in the front of the book was gave them just like here, just, like the Green Bay Packers. What I do is give you, you know, your logo. What I do is I, per, I personalize and put your name down here, right? And then I work, the second thing that I put in the book is that I give you the greatest players that ever played for that team. Wow. You know, and so you're going to get a story of all of those players on there, from there. Then behind that, and I got different books, so I have to, you know, just go through it. Behind that, I put the history in there, the history of the team, the stats of the team, and everything, just like of the players. And then I go from there by placing the cards in here from those teams in alphabetical order, so that if you could actually build on those, if you would like. And um, what I do is that if you have a favorite player that you really do love, and, and it doesn't really matter what era it is from, and, and if I have that player, I make sure that, that that player is in that book. And I give them to and I give them to you, you know what I mean, more than one time. So, you know, wow. it's a personalized thing. So wow. basically, that's how it was born and, and accepted, and you know, and and I think that's pretty awesome. I mean, especially for you, like I said, for for your, there's a lot of fans. Mm -hmm. I mean, they they love their team, but you know, sometimes they don't understand the history, and right. I think it makes it even more impactful for mm -hmm. them when they can start to see the history. And mm -hmm. I, I realized that when I lived down in Brazil, um, like during the during the World Cup, I lived in Brazil and right. I would see all these, you know, all these kids running around with these little books. And it was like, I guess for the World Cup, they had the book of like all the teams where you can collect the cards and put all the players in place or whatever. Right. And people mm -hmm. absolutely loved it because like I said, people wanted to find another way to connect with their team. That's amazing. Great. That's exactly what's the, you know what I mean? the um, intention of doing this was behind that so that you can have that personal connection. Mm, so gotcha. yeah, gotcha. that's how it was born. Awesome. Now I'm curious as to, you know, you know, it's always interesting when people talk about, you know, they had an idea for a business and then, you know, going from idea to reality. So what was that process like from, Hey, when you got the idea to, okay, how do we make this something real? Well, I got to tell you, Terrell, I, I had actually fun doing this, you know, because I, I love, you know, just collecting those cards. And I, and I am a sports fanatic myself, is that once I started separating the cards and learning, you know what I mean, um, more about the players and the teams, um, I really got excited about it. I got yeah. excited because, you know, I, I, I found some cards that I didn't think I had, you know. <laughs> And I actually read a lot of the history um, when I was actually doing a lot of these books, you know, stuff that I didn't even know. And me being from Georgia, I read up on, on, on the Atlanta Braves history. They didn't even start in Atlanta, you know, stuff like that. It, 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 it makes you, you know, want more, I would say, you know, and I, and I, and I actually started diving more because of that um, concept there. And um, like I said, it was fun and exciting for me, but the, the greatest thing about it is that it's rewarding, not only for me, but I hope for the fan, you know? That is the key right there. I want it to be rewarding for the fan, you, you know, the purchaser. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. Now you mentioned that you know you gave your your, your bosses that they're the Redskin fans, oh, yeah. but you you still gave them a fan book. You know what was their response wow. when they got I, their book? I can tell you. Well, the first the city manager, and she is I'm talking about a diehard fan. She has the corn. She has the help. She has everything in the office. So I knew she would like it. Well, I heard her expression um, from the office when she first got it, and she was like, wow, I can't believe this, you know? And um, so she bought it out to her assistant, but she didn't know that I gave her assistant one too, right? And she said, I got to show you this, you know? And when she showed it to her assistant, she said, I got one too. <laughs> and both of them was just, you know what I mean? Like, they was just, can you believe this? You know, they was very excited about it. You know, and um, I went back to work uh, Thursday and uh, my supervisor was there and she said she read through it and she actually said, she said she read through it and found out some things she didn't even know. Wow. So she really did appreciate that. So, yeah. Wow. That's amazing. So now where can people that are interested in the fan vibes books, where can they find them, whether it's online or in person? Like, how do they get in touch with you to get their copy? And right now, Terrell, I'm actually working on the website. I'm working on the website, so I don't have that fully up yet. But I do have an email address for it. And that is at fanvibe07 at gmail.com. Awesome. Fanvibe07 at gmail.com. Fanvibe07 at gmail.com. And if you email me, I can actually personalize. Yes. And if you email me, I can actually personalize, get back with you, you know what I mean, and send you um, examples and, 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 and pictures um, just giving you an, an idea of um, what I have and you can actually tell me personally what you would like and I can get that together for you and do that right now. So unfortunately, that's the only platform that I have for social media right now. So. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So now as you think about, you know, going from idea to having a product, you know, people are falling in love with it. You know, what's your, what are your, your future aspirations for, for this business? Well, um, number one, I hope that it continues to strive until my granddaughters are college age <laughs> and they, they can have some funds in their college fund. Um, but um, I hope to really encourage individuals to um, look into this for um, someone that they know it would really um, uh, well benefit from it. And I say that because as you know, with sports, um, it, it sports bring a lot of people together. People are down unless they have something that they can actually um, root for. So my hope is that you can look at fan vibes to uplift someone. You can actually look at fan vibes, you know what I mean, to encourage someone, you know, about having faith, not only, you know what I mean, in your team, but, you know, in sports totally all over again. So that's the hope. Awesome. Awesome. Well, before we wrap up, one last question I, I'd like to ask. I mean, when you think about, you know, your journey as, you know, uh, building this business out, you know, what's one piece of advice that you would share with other business owners or people that are thinking about starting a business? What's one piece of advice you would share with them? Always stay persistent. Stay persistent, but most importantly, stay patient with it. You may not happen right away, but if you have a passion for it, you have to stay patient and just be persistent with it, you know, and believe in yourself. So that may be two or three pieces of advice, but <laughs> <laughs> patience, persistence, and believe. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. I, I love it. Well, Kenneth, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for telling us your story and sharing about your business. Thank you so much. Thank you, Terrell, and thank you and for what you're doing. Thank you for tuning in to the Business Talk Library. If you like our content, be sure to follow us on social media. And if you want to see more of our exclusive content, you can subscribe and become a member on patreon.com forward slash business talk library. Hey, the Business Talk Library is the place where business makes sense.